The following tutorial is going to show you how to use the selection tools and select something in Photoshop CS6. Um, now there are three levels of selection tools in CS6 and CS5 and 5.5 as well. Um, there are the shapes, shape selection tools, the lassos, and the magic wands. I'm going to show you all of them in this video. First, obviously, are shapes. Um, there is rectangle, circle, single row, single column. All right, so let's start out with the rectangle. Basically, what this does is that it allows me to select a rectangle on the screen. Um, I can do anything with this rectangle. I can actually move this rectangle if I wanted to. Um, but it's just a very quick, easy way for me to select something. Usually, what, what do I do with this rectangle? I use it a lot to select all, select the whole entire frame, um, like I have on the video. But I can also do that by going to select all, and that also selects all. All right, to deselect, I simply just click this and click anywhere. I can also go to select, deselect, which is grayed out because I have nothing selected right now. All right. And then there's also a circle, which again would just allow me to click a circle. But if I wanted to select the baby's whole entire head, this circle tool isn't too advanced. So Photoshop offers some different features to select things a little bit better. All right, so let's move on to the magnetic tool. So the first is the lasso tool. Lasso tool is very difficult to work with. Um, it actually just allows you to draw in a line and when you let go, it kind of snaps together um, and forms a shape, whatever shape you drew. I've actually really never used this tool before. Um, I uh, prefer the magnetic and magic lassos um, a lot more than this tool. It just allows you to draw and you basically select whatever you've drawn. All right, the uh, polygono tool, um, basically what this is, is it allows you to select and kind of trace, you can see every time I click my mouse, it forms a new point. And eventually I need to get to the end, so you need to remember where the end is as soon as you get to the end. Notice the little circle pop up. I simply click that and voila, I have my picture selected. Now, let's say I've done this and I just want to add the top of the baby's head, just add a little bit more. You can see that when I, well you can't see, but when I push the shift key, there's an add. If I hold down shift and select more, I'm actually adding to my selection. If I hold down alt option, I can actually take away. Now I'm on the Mac, so on the PC it's the same idea. The buttons are just, it's shift and something else on the PC. It's the same thing. You're just going to have to see what buttons form a plus, what button forms a minus. So I can take away and add to. And let's just deselect. And finally, we have the magnetic lasso. Magnetic lasso, what it does is it looks for certain colors and what's related in the picture and actually tries to figure out how they align. It's actually a really good tool. It's a good way to start out selecting something. So if I'm just trying to select the baby's head, Notice that this tool does a pretty good job. Now if I zoomed into this picture, obviously I'm going to see that there are some errors. So essentially what I want to do, if I really want to select this baby's head, I'm going to keep going, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, and actually make sure I'm selected exact on the picture colors. And how I'm going to do that, I usually start out with this magnetic tool, then I go to the polygonal lasso, and from there I'll be specific and use this minus and plus tool minus, minus, plus, minus, plus. All right, finally, the last tools here, if I want to select, um, we'll start out with the, let's start out with the magic wand tool. Basically what this does is it selects light colors. So let's just try to select the baby's leg, for instance. As soon as I click on the leg, look, it's selecting all the light colors I've found here. It's selecting a lot of the baby, um, many different parts. And in fact, if I hold down shift, notice the plus or minus, I can actually keep selecting more things. And look how it's just selecting. Eventually, I'll select everything on the screen. 
and I can use the minus to actually take away parts of this selection. Let's deselect everything. And finally, we have the quick selection tool. Um, I actually really like this tool. What it does, let's say I want to sh take the baby's head. Um, it actually, I'm just holding the mouse down right now and going over the baby's head, and it's automatically determining where the baby is. Uh, there's no reason for me to use the plus. It's automatically on a plus setting without me holding down shift. If I hold down all option, notice how it forms a minus. And that allows me to take away. And I really like this selection tool a lot. Selection is one a very difficult thing to do in Photoshop. I usually like to have my students uh, so try to select people out of pictures by zooming in and getting as close as they can to making the person perfect. And then I show them some tips about blurring and such, um, how to actually get in a little better and do it really well so you can stick them in a picture and make them look good. Um, one last thing I want to show you on selecting is, let's say I want to actually, uh, for instance, I'm selected something and I actually want to select the outside of it. Um, like I want to take the baby but keep it in this picture. One thing I can do, just let me do this really quickly. Um, I'll keep this tool and I'll select the baby's head again very quickly. If I go to select inverse, I'm not no longer selecting the baby's head. I'm actually selecting everything outside of the baby's head. So if I push delete right now, oh, it's not letting me do this. I'm on the background layer. But if I were to, oh, it is slowly. Um, you can see that the baby's head is actually staying in one place. I accidentally pushed a feature there. Um, but you can see that the baby's head is staying in one place. And then I'll just deselect. Uh, but that's how you use the selection tools in Photoshop. Thanks.